Hello and welcome to Cinema 104, Film History. Today we have a big one. So now we're coming into the 70s, which really kick off in 1969 with Easy Rider. And, the, and here we're going to see the transformation of the film industry fully. The one that's been building through the 60s with the auteurs that we saw in last episode to now the full realization of this group of filmmakers, mostly young, taking over Hollywood, if you will, and being the dominant creative force. So, in addition to in the society, you have a lot going on. That's why there's so much covered in the history section of your study guide. You have the Vietnam War raging, uh, Watergate happens in this period, N uh, Nixon's election, Kent State, the Manson murders, Woodstock, all of these dramatic cultural events that are really influencing the society, their landmark events that that influence films and we see showing up in films. Obviously we have Easy Rider which really created a revolution in um, Hollywood. Also we see the introduction of mobile equipment, lighter portable cameras, very very important that allows the the filming style of New Hollywood to happen. So what is that filming style? So we're talking about films that have been influenced by European camera work and editing so we see revolutionary non-continuity editing and much more experimental in the way that they're filming. Also the topics, political, cynical, anti-heroes. Um, they're exploring the dark side of American society. They're not giving you a happy ending. Very often in, the film, in these films, the protagonist died or doesn't achieve their goals. Um, so it's really an art cinema period for America that stretches, you know, roughly from 69, 68 up until maybe 80. But when blockbuster films come in in next week's lesson, uh, things change again. So the films we're watching, uh, French Connection, very important, wins the Oscar, uh, very unique filming style, kind of advances um, filming style, a lot of handheld very documentary style, and it wins the Oscar and a bunch of other awards, makes a big splash. And also kicks off this sort of trend in Hollywood of dirty city cop films, kind of tough cops. Uh, we see a lot of these films repeated, Dirty Harry, others. Um, Taxi Driver, wow, captures the cynical period really well, uh, addresses political assassinations, uh, murder, uh, various things that are going on in the 70s, captures the mood and the look of the 70s very, very well with the lighting and the cinematography. And then finally, Cuckoo's Nest, which in some ways is one of the final really big films of the period. It wins the Oscar as well, uh, renowned for its acting, particularly Jack Nicholson, who wins Best uh, Acting Oscar. Uh, he's a method actor, by the way. Uh, it's also had independent production. It means it was, in, it was financed outside the Hollywood studio system. So um, very important film, and, it, and interestingly enough, Nicholson is in um, Easy Rider, and then he's in Cuckoo's Nest, and he sort of marks this period very well for its success. Uh, a lot of symbolic meaning in the story of Cuckoo's Nest. So, that's uh, the New Hollywood period, very important in Hollywood, also historically very tumultuous uh, time for America. So, hope you enjoy the lecture and the lesson. A review your study guide. Uh, we are still in Unit 2, and we are wrapping up next week.